Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Judith and this is Urban Wanderlust. If you're new here, I make videos all about the behind the scenes of a candle company. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm super excited because I'm gonna film a really quick video of the largest order I have ever received to date. In the five years of me making candles, that Ellie's excited too, see? <laughs> I've never gotten an order this large from one person. Okay, like this is the packing slip. I'm gonna show you the back because I don't wanna show you the person's mailing address, but it's three packing slips long. Like, what? I've never had one person place such a large order. I mean, wholesale is something different. They place large orders all the time, but one person placed these, is buying these many items from my company. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let me count how many we have here. We have two, three, four, five. 30. 30. 30 items. She bought a mixture of fall fragrances, room sprays, and candles, and my destination candles. Like, you can see the joy in my face from when I get orders from you guys. I mean, it never really goes away. The feeling never stops. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you don't know what's going on, uh, this week I'm having my year-end sale. It's New Year's Eve today, actually, so it's the last day of my sale. So by the time this video goes up, you probably won't be able to shop the sale. So I figured I'd tape a really quick pack with me video of how I'm gonna pack this order up because I don't even know how I'm gonna pack it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to put it in one of my wholesale boxes. I don't know, but we'll figure that out together. So let's go. Okay, so this is her entire order. Can we just, oh my God, I can't even deal. I've never had these many candles going to one person that was not wholesale. Like this is everything. Look at my shelf. It's now empty. Well, practically empty. Those are just empty jars right there, but like we're down to that, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, and then I have empty space here because those are all the boxes of the amber jars that sold out. Wow, <laughs> I just can't believe it. That's everything minus three candles of hers over here that I actually still have to make. So one falling leaves that I didn't have already made and then um, two so fresh and so clean. I'm making three because one actually goes to another order, but wow, I just can't get over what this looks like here. I cannot get over this. So we're gonna be using a wholesale box to ship this out. Hopefully it fits in one box, one big box, so I can send it out nice and safely. I have to wait for those to cure. I at least wanna wait one or two days before I ship it out. It's gonna take probably another two to three days to get to her, so it would have already cured for about a week, which is how long I cure my candles for. Um, some people do longer, some people do less, some people don't do cure at all, but it, to each their own. This is how I make my candles, and I can't believe it! Look at all this, it's just so beautiful. I can't, okay. Excuse me, miss. Missy, no, don't eat, don't do that. No. That's bad for you and bad for the plant.
to show a close-up of how I wrap my candles. I always start at the edge and I kind of just go roll it over like this. And I grab this corner and do this and just bring this over here. I leave it wrinkled up right in the center because I use that as a cushion for when I roll it this way. And then you have a nicely rolled little packaged candle. And then I take my sticker and put it there. And then it's nicely packaged. So I'll show you guys that one more time. So start off at the corner, you grab your edge, and I roll it about that much, maybe like once around the candle. I bring this over this way, and it's kind of like you want to fold it right on the center in front of the candle and bring this over here. It's kind of like you're creating a, a triangle and you just roll this way and it's nicely wrapped around and it creates like a double layer around the candle. And it doesn't always have to be perfect. It's nice when it's smooth, but it also gives it that nice effortless, effortlessly messy look, but it's still organized. So I'll show you how I wrap the brown candles. I don't go from the edge because this is a smaller one. What I actually do is I start off with the longest pieces of paper like this. Um, this is another way you can um, wrap your candles if it's a straight-sided jar. Since these aren't straight-sided, since these aren't straight-sided, it makes it a little difficult to wrap it this way. So I go, I wrap it once around the candle and then I go right over like this. So these I wrap a little bit different. I just kind of like bring this over like this. Kind of like you're making a little triangle as well. And these always look a little bit better because it's a straight sided jar. So I'll show you that one more time. along the side of the paper. I roll it once around the jar and then I just kind of flip it over this way like that. And you kind of you can do this little triangle effect if you want it to come to a close. And then you take your sticker and there you go. That's how I wrap my candles. headed down to my storage unit downstairs to get some more wholesale boxes because I don't have a large enough box to pack this order. This is what happens when you don't have enough supplies up here.
I'm humming kid songs. I, I need help. <laughs> She got two free totes and a free tea light tin for her purchase since she spent so much. Look how pretty that looks. Yay. All right, so I finally got everything to fit in one box. This is my larger wholesale box that I'm using. And I don't know if this person actually watches my YouTube channel, but if you do, hi, Isabel. Thank you so much for this order. I really appreciate you so much. And she is getting two free totes and a free tea light tin. Usually I give out the, um, I can't even open it, hold on. Oh God, how do I, oh, oh there we go. Usually I give out a free tea light uh, with every order, but since she spent so much, I'm giving her two free totes and a tea light tin. So I'm so in love with these things. like. Look at how beautiful that looks. I can't even stand it sometimes. But yep, we are packing up this order. Thank you, Isabel. I hope it gets you safe. Hopefully you tag us on Instagram or TikTok, whatever platform that you use so we can watch you unbox it. I would love to see that. Ellie is so excited. Oh, that's it guys. I just wanted to record really quickly me packing up this giant massive order from my year end sale. I normally don't record myself packing up just one order, but I felt like this was such a huge massive order that I wanted to just jump on camera real quick and record something. So it's New Year's Eve around two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna wrap up the rest of the orders that are coming through and then we're gonna call it at night around five or six and head over to my brother's house and hang out with him and my sister-in-law. So thank you so much, guys. If you love this content, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye.